Hello, everybody, and welcome to another dose of virtual vitamin Z. My name is Brad. I'm an education specialist for the Detroit Zoological Society. And today, you can see we are actually out here at the lemur habitat. So today, we're going to be learning about lemurs. It's a little hard to see them from out here, so let's go take a closer look. Come on. Welcome to the lemur habitat at the Detroit Zoo. There are six lemurs who call the Detroit Zoo home. Male Finnegan and female Molly both arrived in 2010. Their two sons, Dallas and Fajiri, were born later that year. Male Warren arrived in 2014, and finally, male Remy arrived in 2015. In the wild, lemurs can be found in social groups anywhere from 2 to 25 individuals. And within a group of lemurs, the females are in charge, so in our group of six lemurs, Molly is the boss. Okay, so Molly is in charge of the entire group of lemurs, but who's second in command? How do the males decide who's next in line to eat food? Well, male lemurs actually have this thing called a stink fight. They determine which male is more powerful by covering their tails in smelly secretions and then waving them around. Now that is a stinky fight that I would not want to be a part of. Speaking of stinky situations, four of the six lemurs were actually rescued from really unfortunate circumstances. Finnegan and Molly were confiscated from an exotic animal dealer in Texas, Warren was confiscated from a private owner who was keeping him in a garage, and Remy was found wandering the streets of California. These four individuals were all rescued from the illegal pet trade in one way or another. Ring-tailed lemurs are endangered, and one of the biggest threats to their population is the illegal pet trade. They may look cute and cuddly, but ring-tailed lemurs and other primates do not make good pets. Fortunately for these lemurs, they all found sanctuary at the Detroit Zoo. Now on a sunnier note, you may notice the lemurs sitting in this kind of interesting position. Lemurs often start their mornings by bathing in sunlight and warming up their bodies before they forage for food. And then, when temperatures get a little cooler, they like to cuddle up in these big, snuggly piles to keep warm. I mentioned earlier that smell is an important form of communication in lemurs, but look at these faces! So are facial expressions. Much like humans, we can also get a sense of how a lemur is feeling based on those facial expressions. Thank you all so much for joining me out here at the Lemur Habitat to learn more about these unique animals. For more virtual vitamin Z, you can always visit our website at DetroitZoo.org. Until next time, I will see you all at the zoo. Bye, everybody.